should call these updates fear factor because that's what they're trying to drive all the time. Another case of human bird flu has just been detected in a child in Australia. Confirmed H5N1. The child contracted the avian influenza infection while in India and fell ill March this year, according to Victorian health officials. The announcement came hours after bird flu was detected on a farm in Victoria. So USA, Australia, India, what they're trying to paint for you is a picture of how this is spreading fast from country to country. So i.e. a worldwide possible pandemic. Four more cats die of H5N1 bird flu in the U.S., two of them in South Dakota with no links to poultry or dairy cows. I'll tell you one thing, if Bill Gates comes near my cats, the man's going to have some real issues in his life really fast. Um, this is in the U.S., South Dakota, no links to poultry or dairy cows. At least 14 cats so far have recently died of bird flu. According to a state official in the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, two of the newly reported cases were domestic cats that died at a property in Campbell County, South Dakota. The WHO's pandemic treaty, you've heard about this, and a bird flu crisis, both arriving at the same time. How coincidental is this? Health officials are issuing very ominous warnings about the potential for an H5N1 pandemic amongst humans. At the same time, the WHO is preparing for a vote on a global pandemic treaty at the 77th World Health Assembly at the end of this month. The global pandemic treaty will give the World Health Organization far more authority than it had during the last pandemic and a lot of people are showing deep concern about how that power will be used during the next health crisis. So at the same time, they're getting ready to vote. This thing has been pushed in the fear market all over the world. And when they get down to the vote, those who were unsure are going to go, you know what? This bird flu thing looks real. Maybe we should vote and give them this. Because, I mean, what could really go wrong? Would they really be bad with that power? No, they're trying to help us. Watch this space. All these little puzzle pieces of end times are slotting into each other so fast that it's starting to sound like a drum roll for the end of mankind. Again, we have no fear. We have our trust in God Almighty. We walk with the Holy Spirit. Jesus' blood covers us. And we are smiling because we know that our Redeemer lives and at last will return very shortly. Shalom.